it's coach Andre and these are tempo tennis tips the kinetic chain what is it it's time for me to explain let's take a look anatomically the kinetic chain describes the interrelated groups of body segments connecting joints and muscles working together to perform movements and the portion of the spine to which they connect from bottom to top they include feet ankles, knees, hips, pelvis, the shoulders, and the head. This is what most coaches and players believe the use of the kinetic chain looks like, but it is wrong. First, he's rotating his hips, which means he's rotating in the transverse plane. The hips were designed for extension, not rotation. Secondly, his hips move before his feet move. The kinetic chain is activated from the ground. So how can his hips move before his feet? Thirdly and most important, the kinetic chain is activated from the ground up with the use of dorsiflexion and plantiflexion. Clearly, neither one of his feet is engaged in any one of these motions. So there is no leg power. There is no activation of the kinetic chain. Roger Federer shows us textbook use of the kinetic chain. Clearly, he has plantiflexion and dorsiflexion. Pushing from the ground up, this is how he generates his power. This is 100% the way the kinetic chain is designed for use. On the backhand, slightly different footwork, same science. This is the footwork that every single tennis player should be using. Now for the record, 98% of all tennis players do not use the kinetic chain correctly. It's the main reason why there are so many lower extremity injuries in the game. That's a fact. For more information on how to apply the kinetic chain to increase your power and to reduce your injuries, Contact me at Andre at TempoTennis.com. Tempo Tennis, every step counts.